So here we are. I found another person to pick on. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the lovely lady, the stall holder. Well, one of the stall holders in the well-being area. So can you tell us a little bit about, first of all, about the Kenwood Trust? Yes. Yeah. So I'm Hetty. I'm from the Kenwood Trust. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. Oh, let's do a hug. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, so we are Kent's. We are holding this up, sorry. Yes. We are Kent's leading alcohol and drug rehab. Um, so we look after people who've been through a lot of trauma and they come to us um, to have full, say, 12 to 15, 12 to 20 weeks of recovery treatment. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Repeated gardens and um, lots of activities for them to take part in to help their recovery journey. I have to. I have to say, my one of my um, ex-boyfriends, and I don't mind saying this at all, because I think people who are recovering addicts are probably the most inspirational people. Oh, to me. truly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've actually had two um, exes who've been um, addicted to quite hard drugs, and uh, sadly, one's not with us anymore. Oh, so, God rest your soul. Yeah. Um, but he did say it really helped when you're with nature because it makes you realise that yeah. there's so many other things in life that you can get joy yeah, from, so not have just from. Therapy. Therapy, gardening therapy, we've got alpacas, so they get to walk alpacas during the day. There's a lot of counselling, one to one, group to yeah. two. Um, and if they don't have accommodation, they can stay with us in our homeless project called The Lodge oh, okay. and move on. So people can actually stay with us for future years. Wow, that's amazing. It's a huge part of their journey. Yeah. And as you say, they're often inspired, like they become inspirational people because of the journey yeah. that they've been on. And then we've got a prevention team, a team who go into schools yeah. and speak to young people yeah. about drugs. It's about educating them. Because I think, I mean, my son's uh, just turned 15. Yeah. And I, you know, I really, yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I've had a sudden change in the way that he's behaving. It's an interest, isn't it? Well, now he's, I mean, now he's going to parties and now he's experimenting with alcohol. And it's like... It is quite difficult because if you say don't do it, yes. especially boys will do it more and then they won't tell you. Yeah. So what I'm doing is keeping the lines of um, communication open. So if he ends so up one day that yeah. it's worse, then I can advise him and talk to him about it and communicate. Well, the people that go into schools, they are people who've had experience. Yes. Gone for it. We've also got a mum who's lost a son, tragic old, through having taken some just um, tramadol. So... Um, he'd had a bit of alcohol and tramadol and it was sick and then died. It was mm. such a tragic loss. But she's determined to go into schools yeah. and really wants to make you a change. You have to educate it's younger people. Education. That's what exactly. it is. So, so hopefully prevent them from ending up at, you know, in therapy. So, oh, so. fantastic. Yes. Well, you're doing a great job. Oh, and can, I, can I just ask how you know the girls at the, his charity? Yes, so his charity, obviously, we work quite closely with his charity because these people who have hit rock bottom and counselling is a big part of it. So we're huge supporters and we work together and they um they also look after men who've gone through mental health issues. So and it's about suicide conscious, which a lot of people who go through right to very own drug and alcohol addiction and can have those thoughts. Yeah, because I think um it is worse for men because of the whole history of men have to be Precious. alpha male, yeah, you know, life uh, uh, boys don't cry, like the Cure song. Do you remember the Cure yeah, song, Boys yeah. Don't Cry? Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. And I think that now in 2022, things are changing so yeah, much. Really, yeah, it really yeah. has. So yeah. I, I'm really, really happy that we're here today yeah, supporting yeah, his too. charity and also Kenwood Trust. Get some for Boogie today. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for talking to us.